Hey folks, here we are for the next part of the final exam review, looking at uh, quiz two and starting quiz three. Okay, so uh, this first part will be quiz two. Um, we are looking at projectiles in two, dimo two dimensions, um, and that was the projectile lab as we launch something off the table and try to figure out where it lands. Okay, so there is a pumpkin here that is shot from the roof at an angle, and we want to find out how much time was in the air and how far away did it land. Okay, so if that's our question, let's turn the page and look at the solution here. Okay, so I've drawn out what we're thinking about. It's 10 meters in height, 60 degrees, we have 40 meters per second. Okay, we're doing all this. Notice I'm doing multiple uh, diagrams so I don't get too busy or too confused one thing at a time. Also notice it mentioned mass. That's a number I've not written down because I don't think it's gonna be relevant, okay? Try to think of what's gonna be relevant for the question. Time is dependent on velocity and distance and maybe acceleration. Um, I don't think force and mass are gonna play into this question. So um, it's there if I need it, but it's, uh, it's not something that's in my diagram yet. Also notice when I take this uh, picture here, I've broken down the y velocity and the x velocity so that I can keep all my y components separate from all my x components. And the only thing that's going to translate between one and the other is going to be time, okay? Which is why we get to that first question here, okay? So if we look at the first question, what is uh, or how much time was it in the air? Okay, um, we're going to use one of the kinematic equations. Okay, and then I'm going to solve for time. Now there's multiple kinematic equations. You can uh, guess and check. And on the final exam, I might ask for time. I might ask for acceleration on a ramp or acceleration on Mars, or I might ask what is the initial velocity, right? All of these are fair game because they're all going to be testing the same standards of kinematics and solving this equation. Okay, so this gives us time. Okay, then coming over here, I guess we don't need to cover that up anymore. Okay, notice I have the same equation, only these are all y's and these are all x's. There's an acceleration on earth due to gravity in the y direction. There is no acceleration on earth in the x direction. Okay, so again, if we're a ramp or a spring, we'd have to track this. Okay, but we try very hard to set our coordinate plane so there's acceleration in one direction and not in a second direction. Okay, all right. Um, there's also no distance. So this boiled down to a nice, simple formula. Okay, so I can just take my velocity in the x and my time, and that gave me my distance. Okay, so hopefully this is a, Example you've seen a number of times, and you can go through this. You'll also see there's a number of different uh, places you can check videos like this. Um, I've added videos to the AP uh, classroom. Um, there's videos on Khan Academy. There's Physics Girl on YouTube. Feel free to look around if you need more examples. That's why the self-assessment is so valuable.